Over 26. <laughs> this is the Bag of Podcast. This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Mic Art Club. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs> what up, my name is Chaxi, the mastermind, your main guy, the Lord Chaxi. The beautiful Mariah is around. Mas is around, the whole gang is around, and we have our first live audience at episode 30. Mike yeah. Cho! <laughs> Yo, like, this is super crazy because mm-hmm. you guys could literally be anywhere in this world. Yep. Although we know that's not true. Too many bias. But the fact that you chose to be here with us yeah. is super it's grateful. Everything. And this that's is a milestone, yes. man. Mm. Come on, are your nerves? Yo, so, uh, quick backstory, right? So, <laughs> uh, so episode 20, we announced we want to do an audience of 30 for episode 30. But it still feels like very far away because our Honestly. podcast comes out weekly. So we're like, ah, 10 weeks. We forget about it. Uh, episode 26 gets here. We're like, oh, shit. It's now like a month. Four, yeah, we need to start getting episodes. ready. Where, 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 where is this going to be? <laughs> uh, Mariah is already importing a wig, which unfortunately <laughs> didn't arrive on time. <laughs> True story. Yeah. Uh, Mas is buying a full fit. <laughs> uh, getting a face beat, <laughs> and then finally we're here, man. Yeah. Man. And coincidentally, uh, so I mean, so the whole idea is we gave you questions, and uh, we want to make it interactive. There's gonna be two mics in the audience. If you have anything to say, please feel free. Yeah. Uh, but all of us will read the questions you have sent us already. No, you've written to us already, and then yeah, that that will form the conversation. What? Can you guess what we're calling this episode? <laughs> Goodbye, Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, Queen, or Queen Lizzie. Whatever. Queen Lizzie is out. <laughs> good, goodbye, sons. <laughs> Lizzie yeah. over Lizzie. Yeah. It has a nice touch yeah. to it. And, and the most beautiful thing about this is you guys got Moas on stage for the, for the first, first time ever. Except <laughs> the only stage I've been on near Matrina talking stage. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is the first time I'm facing an actual crowd of people. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm very nervous. <laughs> So Mariah, uh, no, let's begin with Master. Yep. Yeah. Yes, so you, you, re- you read whatever you have and then we discuss yeah. it. I yeah. think okay, then so Mariah, I have a bunch just, of weird questions. No, just one, one by yeah. one. Yeah, but I'll start with this one is easy. Yeah. How did you guys meet? Ah, so this one has been asked by Magoya. <laughs> Shout out to Magoya. Magoya. So do Shout out to Magoya. I'll, I'll, let me start. Mine is the shortest because I've known these guys the shortest time. Mariah and I actually met on in the January. first day of looking at the studio to shoot mic check. So we met the week before episode one. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So I just met her in studio. Chax is like, we need some female energy in this crew. This is Mariah. You guys will hit it off. And then so far, so good. Boom. Yeah. So um, how, how, how everything came together as well, just to add to what Mwasi is saying. Mariah and I used to do a show called The Catalyst, which used to be like 10, 15 minutes. No, around 10 minutes on YouTube. Uh, then when COVID struck, we just took a break. Uh, so during COVID, we started the conversation of, I think we should make this a full-on podcast. Uh, but then we needed, um, we needed an extra voice on the show. So we started scouting. We spoke to... Sorry, what's up? Uh, sorry. So we spoke to a few people that we had in mind, um, recorded some bunch of stuff that is still private. Then um, around the same time, I started hanging out with Moas from the, the WRC last year. Yep. I think we, we bonded over tattoos and yeah. trauma and shit. Then we became <laughs> friends. <laughs> so <laughs> mostly trauma. <laughs> mostly trauma. And then the tattoos, but mostly trauma. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then Moss and I grew closer, and I realized Moss cracks me up. Yeah. Like I'm not even lying. If you see me, if you see me around Moss anytime, I'm always dying of laughter. So one day, um, I think we are we were getting drunk on FaceTime. Then I'm like, Yo, dude, by the this uh, have you ever thought of podcasting? Then Moss is like, Yeah, he's uh, he's had these ideas he's wanted to do. He just never. Um, fully, you know, followed through and got the project done. I was like, yo, there's this thing I'm doing, sent him links, I think you'd be nice on it. Uh, I think Mas thought I was kidding. Then to Kasavio's story. So I text Mas again, I'm like, yo, we, we meet in studio Monday, blah, blah, I called Mariah, and then the rest is history. Our pilot episode that was supposed to be our private episode, just to see whether it works, ended up being the first episode. episode. Yep. Yeah. And here's 30, 30 more later. <laughs> this Imagine. is 30 more later. Yep. Where, how, many, how many have I not been to? Ah, Mariah. Like four. four. <laughs> <laughs> no, like five, six, four uh, episodes. Ah, uh, it's like four. Yeah. And most yeah. of them is just for bullshit reasons, but it's fine. <laughs> bruh, come on. But I didn't attend the last episode because Raila lost. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, bro, I'm like, <laughs> she's like my president. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. 
Okay, let's go to yeah. How did you guys meet? Um... Or how... Hmm. <laughs> so it was a one night stand. Should, should we really give this story? <laughs> From deja vu. Yeah, actually, Chaxi and I met um, when there was this energy video, the first competition ever. So we both, you know, put our submissions on Instagram. Though he had been stalking me for a minute. That's so a lie. when I saw him at energy, you know, he came, he was farming me like, oh my gosh, Mariah. <laughs> and, yeah, so this, it was like this does not this is not Lord characteristic. Chaxi, Kubali too, but yeah. anywho, so yeah, after that it was like, you know, we'd like because at, at the time you guys had the podcast with Erosh. Yeah. So it was Mike like, check, Oh, yeah. we'd like to have you as a guest and the minute I went on, you know, like we just had a proper instant click and that's how Catalyst was born and yeah. Years later we are here. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so I have a question from Simon, and so, he says... Just hold up. So if, um, Rick, so just be on the lookout. If someone wants to speak and we're not looking kindly. So, uh, sorry. Um, Simon is asking, since you dropped your match, what does the mic check pod have, it, have as its vision? Honestly, our vision is very simple, to be the best, po to be the best podcast in the world. Yep. Simple. <laughs> Yeah, see, nice. and there's, there's more merchandise coming. We are yeah. doing boxers, we're doing thongs. Yeah, we're doing, no, we're doing socks. We're doing socks. Yeah, we're doing a bunch seriously. of things. Yeah, we're doing nipple coverings, yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, yeah. and remember Moas on episode 50, because I think we're going to have another live recording on, on episode 50. Moas is going to wear a crop top. I'm going to gonna wear a crop top episode 50. Okay, I'm going to wear a crop top episode 100. Episode 100. <laughs> I'm not saying just a crop top. So, might be underneath a t shirt, might be underneath a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I might this, come with a duvet, who knows? <laughs> this this need deserves yeah. a bet. We'll find okay, a bet. We'll find out. The recording, yeah. Well, but yeah, so okay. merchandise is out. The thing about merchandise, why it took so long, is um, getting quality merchandise in Kenya is so expensive. Mm. Like, even this match, we just needed to make something, but personally, I'm not really proud of what it looks like. So we are working on that. But like Moa said, yep. uh, our match will be a bunch of things, from ba punches to boxers, ideas, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, Taxi. it's me, cool. <laughs> um, incognito, yeah, and writing in a <laughs> I'm messing. Where will Chaxi's after party be? Um, okay, so tonight, we're going to go see Kabza at the winning post. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to come for my party, it's going to happen. It's going to be next week, Saturday. Nione Kando. I'll, tell, I'll give you the location. TBA. Yes. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. I, whoever wrote this question, I'm going to take a gunshot. I'm going to take a gunshot. What's your answer? Ah! What's your answer? I'm going to take a gunshot. I'm going to take a gunshot. Anyway. Fuck, marry, kill. Oof. Fuck, marry, kill. Mathakarua. Mamangina. And Maggie Kenyatta. Wait, sorry. Who, Maggie? Yeah, yeah, Margaret. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, she's called Maggie. The mom, the wife, and the opponent. Hmm. <laughs> Martha Karua? Fuck, Marie Kill. Wait, yeah, are, we, are we I'm, all I'm not supposed this. to answer it? Yeah. I would definitely marry Martha Karua because she's very resilient. Okay. She can, she can go through anything and she'll still stand for I'm that definitely is... marrying that one. <laughs> I <laughs> would definitely <laughs> fuck Maggie. Through thick and thin. And I would kill, we all know, sorry for the elephants. <laughs> it's that simple. That's yeah. a simple task. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, anyone, is, anyone, is, anyone, is anyone called Walia here? Or Walia? Who wrote this question? Nione Kando. Da kubaya cocktail. No, you, you haven't answered it, though. You haven't answered it. You're not skipping. I no. the fifth. <laughs> but okay, I will. Uh -huh. Not. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> The elephants to die. So <laughs> <laughs> that has to go. Yeah. Uh, it's a tough one. I would fuck. Is Martha married? No, yeah. she's single. She's she's single. Iron lady. Martha na katuni mkali. This is a difficult one for me. I would friends on all three. Wabu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Taxi. Ah, uh, definitely kill Shori for uh, the elephants. And uh, I mean. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie is good looking, so I'd marry Maggie. Um, okay. I wouldn't want, then Martha, Martha would probably just have a one-night stand, and I'll, uh, bruh, I'll need to be on drugs or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so oh. this is my, oh, sorry, it's nice. me Maya. next. Um, shout out to KK, um, he says more live shows, daily show kind of thing, so weekly, 
show a live one? I don't know if I understand this question. Wanna talk some? <laughs> Oscar Sudi Manenas. <laughs> Do you see the video of Oscar Sudi? This no. One? <laughs> I, I, Oscar well, Sudi was, was choosing the words to read. <laughs> wait, you're asking for more it. live shows. I uh, think it, it can be possible, but I think at this rate, because we are very conflicting schedules and whatever, we have to like, you know, yeah. put yeah. in a lot more effort for there to yeah. be more live shows. But for now, I think... Whatever we have is working yeah. for the three of yeah. us. We'll do, we'll do our best to make it work. Yeah. yeah. We'll and also, you know, we received like a lot of uh, reservations. We just went with the first 30, but then there was, there was more interest. I mean, uh, mm. let's see. Episode 50, come and attack Jazzy Kasarani will do it. Jaza. Absolutely. Yeah. Sindio. <laughs> uh, um, uh, it has no name. Chaxi, how are the girlfriend interviews going? Uh, <laughs> laughing emojis. Happy birthday. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, girlfriend interviews are going terribly. Terribly bad. Because you've not been answering messages. Yes. So, so how, how let me give you an update you? at the truth that has happened even an hour ago. Yes. Bro, but so so Chaxi and, and, I, Chaxi, Chaxi and I joined Bumble <laughs> <laughs> just for, for kicks, but for him it's serious. No, then we realized not Chaxi for me. does not know how that to use a mobile phone. Can you imagine? So all the babes he likes, he swipes left. <laughs> <laughs> and all the babes he's like, this one's not looking too good. He swipes right. So he's gotten mad matches. Because there's a babe somewhere in Kangware who's like, hey, look at this boy. <laughs> Now his Bumble DM is full of um, DMs oh. and, and questions, isn't it? Oh my God. And so they expire after 24 hours. <laughs> so all of them are just telling him, like, you have 17 hi, hours hi, to hi. reply to... Some baby in cups of it. <laughs> in, in, my, in my defense, I've since learned how to use it. I'm just not yeah. serious. Yeah, but I'm getting married 1st of January. You all are welcome. Yeah. So it's going bad because of technological issues. Technical issues. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's now, it's sorted So if, if Chaxi has swiped right on you and you're in this crowd, <laughs> <laughs> now you know. I saw, I saw Tinashe and Bumble. Uh-huh. Did you? How did you just blast her like that? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, but yeah, but oh, it's going terribly bad, yeah, mm. Mas. Mas. It's me. Yes, so. This one is, I don't know if it's a serious question or it's a silly question, yeah. from Adele. <laughs> if you were to be sworn in on Tuesday as the president of this country, which project would you allocate most funds to and why? Easy, bro. Mm -hmm. Arts, sports, yeah. arts, culture. I mean, we're, sure. we're, um, unemployment is so high, yeah. and uh, white-collar jobs, bro. Like, you, you guys saw the, the thing on Twitter where a company was hiring an intern, who, and they needed someone to have a master's. Yeah, a no, junior, Chris, junior five years of analyst, and five years, yeah. experience in a master's degree. Bro, this is like, I'm, I'm looking to hire someone who's 20, who, who has 20 years of experience, but you have to be not more than 19 years <laughs> for age. You know, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so the arts, bro, this, uh -huh. is, this is literally where we could, um, you know, employ a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. Yeah. If you can make music successful, if you can make sports successful, um, we'll Film see. Film industry. Yeah, because look at even just Saudi so yeah. who are like the most successful musicians we have, or Tile. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the number of people they've hired who do different things for them. So if we amplify that like 10, 100 times, yeah. okay. I'd definitely, definitely allocate more money into, into that. But then, of course, uh, basic needs, like, you know, uh, san free sanitary, uh, sanitary, parts. sanitary parts for women, yeah. making sure that there's, you know, be, um, access to education, water, yeah. simple things, yeah. Yeah, sorry, and Nairobi magic twice a week is bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we very true, yeah. Yeah. very true. Next? Okay. You, um, to, oh, okay. The next question is, Mwas Akonam to Okay. Is the question. Okay. Mwas. Mwas. Yes. How come serious? Okay, so she asked, <laughs> and how much money? How much money are you allocating for Moroga Festival? <laughs> oh damn. That's not Bruh. what I asked. I asked if you were being sworn in today on Tuesday. Uh huh. Which would be your biggest project to fund, and why is it Moroga? Oh, Festival? I read it as a. Oh damn, oh. Mwas, you butchered, bro. No. Listen, this is what I did. Ah, uh, Mwas, no, no. no. How did you butcher okay, such a question? Let me say this. Moroga Festival is an inside joke. <laughs> So let me explain what Moroga Festival is. Okay, His name cool. is called... My dad's name. Your dad's name is Moroga. Is yes. So when they went for WRC this year, it's my dad's name. they we're, called we're two it different people. Moroga Festival instead of Koroga Festival. So every time, a bunch of people in Nairobi who have disposable income have been meeting to buy alcohol and other things and yeah. then just have fun yeah. and then not remember anything. So that's basically Moroga Festival. Yes. How much money are you allocating for the next um, time? The next Moroga Festival is tonight. <laughs> Budget strong, yeah, can do. But if you can, if you can buy much, I'll disclose. <laughs> yeah. Samaha. Dopeness. Well, my question, anonymous. Um, it says, 
Mwasa kona mtu asking for a friend and Hana, also Hana mtu, Hana mtu. <laughs> Hana mtu. Well, and you recently joined Bumble. Hana mtu Bumble. I, I joined Bumble. <laughs> At least it's going well for you though. Now the that profiles you're disclosing my Bumble business. are very business. interesting because I saw, I saw a babe who's like drinking always socially. Smoking sometimes. That's a perfect And then match. she was like, Christian, don't look for hookups. I'm looking for a God-fearing man. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this, that, was, that was Calonzo. Calonzo. <laughs> <laughs> I smoke and I drink, but I'm looking for a God-fearing man. <laughs> How the tables have turned. Oh, yeah, but I'm too. I have issues. I have issues. I have issues. Literally. Uh, this is from David. Happy birthday, Lord Chaxi. Thank you. Finally, someone acknowledged the Lord. <laughs> like, everyone acknowledges it except these two guys. I can't. For the two of you. Mungu na tumanga lightning. Uni mungu mgani. So, so uh, I can read the question, right? Yes, that was a comment. Uh, so this is undisclosed. I know Chaxi will love this, for sure. I think so. If for whatever reason, the girl you're with and her community upholds virginity, <laughs> but y'all are in love and she's easy with bad stuff. Is she Muslim? But you aren't, but you aren't, would you still pursue the relation? I think Sasa, just... okay. <laughs> uh, just okay, question. basically, she wants to uphold virginity, right? Mm -hmm. But she doesn't mind doing it from the back. Mm -hmm. So if, she, if she's easy with that, would I still um, pursue the relationship? Nah, bro, you find Christ, find, Christ, find Christ and then we'll meet later. <laughs> no, anyway, for real though, uh, I'm a human being, I have sexual needs. I'm sexually active, so if I can't get that from my partner, then we probably need to have a, a, a different arrangement. So you, we, you can be my partner for companionship. Evolution in growth. Or my partner for good times, but then you have to allow me to get someone who I can have sex with, please. Is that too much to ask? Small, small sex? That's it's madness. <laughs> That's absolute madness. <laughs> Listen, who would uphold in the, in the audience? Like, genuinely. Poji, don't look at me like that, because <laughs> you can't. <laughs> For real, though, would you? Randomly, would you? You wouldn't. You have sexual needs, right? Would you? So you'd give up the love would of your you? life because of... Bruh. Who, who said one person is the love? Yo, I can have multiple loves of my life. What do you mean? Wahoo. Wait, sweet. Wahoo. I have a big heart. I have a big heart. Of course, when him, when him, when him Korea, we know. <laughs> Amazing, uh, though. Anyone, would someone do, though? I would. No. So, let me, can you take, can you take a quick break? Mm. Uh, where's Comfort? I've never, I've not met Comfort. Hi, Comfort. Hello. Do you know that's Moa's soulmate? <laughs> what? <laughs> Comfort. Do you, you want to share the mic with me for a few minutes? Are you shy? I'm a, yeah, someone give Comfort the mic, yeah. I promised on the last recording I was going to ask for Comfort when she arrives. Nice to meet you. I think she was among the first people who RSVP'd, yeah. Ah, uh, bless you. How is it going with, between you and Moas? I, I, can, I, can, I promise you he's single. No, but when I said soulmate, I didn't really mean like in a relationship way. Okay. I feel like we'd be very good friends. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. See? I've been Mas friends on on live television. Ah. Hey, Ark is hard. Ark, Ark is healing. No, no, let me Ark explain myself. Hard, bro. Let me explain myself. Because if, if we were to be more than friends, I think we'd ruin it. But very much alike. This is exactly let the me, same way I've been friends on every time. Let me ask. Is Ira here? Similar in what sense? <laughs> no, because no, I watch the podcast, so I know how he is. And I feel like I'm really the same way. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bro. All it took is this podcast for you to finally find Imagine, someone. Imagine. Bro, don't waste it. it don't don't waste it. <laughs> Are we going to sniff that part? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out um, to is, uh, is uh, Felix here? Mumo. Felix Mumo. Oh, hi. Where is he? Please Where give Felix? Felix the mic. Yeah, Safari, pass the mic. Yo, um, so Felix is um, literally, I think, among the first people who ever really... Yo, Felix watches every single episode, and he makes sure we know he watches. And where did you travel from? Embu. 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 Bro. Yeah. Shout out to you, Felix. I was Bless free. you. You are? I was free. <laughs> nah, bro, no, it's fine. We appreciate it, though. Honestly. Yeah, because yeah, Felix leaves 10 comments minimum on every video. With timestamps. 
I'm curious. Can I ask you questions? Yeah. Felix, how, how do you watch the podcast? Like, because you watch and type simultaneously. Ah. Uh, you watch when you can do job. Okay. okay. So you work, comment, and watch at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you a tech bro? Do you have like five screens? <laughs> What, what, si- what size? What size are you? Could you? I'm not asking about. Like what, what size? Medium, large. <laughs> Chaxi wants to get you. Yeah, your t-shirt in what size? <laughs> oh, t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, you got clear. Oh. Uh, maybe extra large. Can someone yeah. please okay. get him an extra large hoodie from the match? Shout thank out to you Felix, so much, man. But thank yeah, you but also if you want. Oh. <laughs> if, you want an- if you want to answer your size, Zingina, you can tell us if you're packing. Uh, are you packing? You, know, you, you can tell us. Are you packing? Extra large. You're packing. <laughs> Are you parking? No? You I'm don't African. Know. Huh? I'm an African. You, you don't know? He said he's an African. African. Oh, you're an African. <laughs> Jackson, I'm Lord sorry on, on behalf of everyone. <laughs> Felix, oh, you have said you're parking, parking so nice the t-shirt job. and going back to your <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking, bro. We appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. Oh Who else? My God. Um, I, forgot, I forgot the name. My apologies. Someone else came from Nakuru. Are you here? Yeah. Ah, oh. sh- shut up, nigga. <laughs> um, anyway, so th- the main reason why we made the recording on Saturday is because a lot of the guys were the guys who don't live in Nairobi needed to have a day to travel back, so we made this on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm out of questions. You, this was me. Yeah. Um, Jafari asks, um, what keeps the fire burning? Can't wait for episode 69. Soon get to text. Why 69? <laughs> why 69? Like, bro, why? This, this is Tafari making an STD joke. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, oh, shit, but that would be dope, though. The episode 69, you have to do a live recording. For sure. Maybe at Excess Millionaires. Are you guys down? <laughs> Think about it. It makes sense, right? Uh. Um, what keeps the fire burning? I guess because all of us are very passionate about, you know, the success of this podcast and... Also, because it's something that we all love to do, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, so basically that's what keeps the fire burning. Plus, we're all dedicated. The crew is dedicated. You know, you just pass each other's energy and passion to one another. Yeah. So yeah. that's how we keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. And above all, we're friends, man. Like, I love these dudes. Like, seriously. I wish I could say the same. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we work on it. We work on it. We, honestly, for me, we have a pact with Chaxi that whoever loses the first, whoever misses the first episode, because we've had a streak of 30 out of 30, and we're hoping it gets to whatever number, to whatever thousand. number, yeah. yeah. Lose, and, so. no, honestly, for me, it's because there, there are times we've traveled and we move shooting dates. There are times, there's a time I came from Karatina at CG 4 p.m., and I got to studio at, like, almost 9, yeah. and we still shot. Um, it's basically just the comments. Honestly, for me, it's the comment section. <laughs> and, and just a random dude just reposting you and saying, hey, bro, you make... Like, that person who said that to CG, he, yeah, he has a very... Yeah, the office. He has a very bad... Bad Jobo, but mm. every Wednesday he looks forward to the episode so he can just stand his boss. Yeah. And I've been there, me myself, I've been a very bad boss mm. to someone, mm. so I know what I can put someone through. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs some mic check in their life. Yeah, yeah. that's what I do. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, and honestly, it's you guys. Like, we wouldn't do it if not for you guys. So, even the fact that, bro, every single week we meet, we meet you guys in different places. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that you'd stop us and be like, yo, keep doing what you do. It means I have to make sure we record that week. Yeah. Yeah. We, like, we don't have a choice. Jana so, was Chaxi's birthday, and he only had one shot. Just so yeah, he can wake up this, early today. Bruh, I'm not his other on Sauti. Every man does that. <laughs> and he made us all go home be, by midnight. Yes. yes. It's like, you have to be up and early, bro. Yeah. And Mariah still missed my birthday. But, but today's your birthday. You know, birthday. so we had a pact with Mariah, because clearly she's the one who's going to get married first. Mm-hmm. And even get <sighs> a baby first on this podcast. Tulisa, if she's going to make us go through Sji Itara, Sji Rorasho, Sji Wedding, all those things, then we have to come to a honeymoon as well. That's the fact. <laughs> like, we're not coming Chaxi, to all those things and missing on the honeymoon. It's only Aye and Yombo, that's it. Those two, then, yeah. then the wedding. Yeah. So we're coming to the, for the honeymoon as well. Yeah. That's the only fact. <laughs> may, may I have to be there when you're consummating, and then I just ask, is he parking? Now, one of my bridesmaids is in the audience, so, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Sure you responsibility, my Yes. Yeah, you know, someone yeah. checks me on a bumble. But them go when you bumble. You find, you find your boss, your cleaning lady. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, so I'll check this. Um. Oh, okay, cool. 
So again, uh, Anonymous, based on your business model and business models in Kenyan podcasting generally, how sustainable is the endeavor? Uh, how sustainable is honestly based on... Like, since we started recording, right? We've not made a single cent from this show. Yep. Um, every single, by the every single week when you see the podcast out, we spend money on it. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, we have a bigger picture. We know where we're going, right? So now we're just building the audience slowly, and then we'll begin to monetize. How, um, so how, how profitable it is depends on how successful we become. We, are in a, we, we play in a game of numbers, so most of the times you are able to monetize if you have more numbers. Uh, then also you can get corporates. Right now we have uh, platforms like Patreon or YouTube that have memberships, so you can get guys to subscribe, and that way they keep the show running. Uh, you can make a lot of money in podcasting, for sure. And that's where everything is headed. I mean, mainstream radio is not as powerful as mainstream radio was. Yeah. Like, how, how many of you listen to radio every day here? Yeah. You see? So everything is heading digital, podcasting is dope. Because um, also, if you think about music, now you have music on your phone. There's people that curate playlists. You can listen to whatever you want at any time. Uh, conversations is probably where podcast is winning because also conversations on Radio 1 are very censored and then they're very clickbait, they're very short. So if you're thinking about podcasting, I'd say get, get, get to it now. Figure out how you can produce it consistently, uh, give guys good stuff, and you'll make money. Eventually the money comes, but if the goal is to make money, then you're probably in it for the wrong reason. Yeah. Money should be a byproduct of you Your being password. successful, you know, but then it shouldn't be the goal, it shouldn't drive you, yeah. Yep. Like, don't look at things from the framework of money. Money, you'll always make money, somehow. Hey, come on, I'm smart. <laughs> Which begs, the next question will be very interesting. Okay. Chaxi, why did you drop out of school? Oh, God. Oh, my God. And what was your plan? <laughs> why does this question follow me? Also, do you want an honest answer? Yeah. Um, so, I dropped out of uni for many reasons. Mm -hmm. Um... One, I, wasn't, I didn't like what I was studying. What I was studying was uh, a second option for me, but then growing up, my, option was, my options were, I, I only had two options. Either I was going to play football and become a footballer, or I was going to get into aviation, right? So none of those materialized. Um, I damaged my left knee when I was in Form 2. I couldn't play football professionally anymore, so I shelved that. Uh, aviation was too expensive for me, I couldn't afford it. So I ended up in KU doing telecommunications, Two semesters in, I'm like, this is not what I wanted my life to be. And then also life was just hard. So I was broke as fuck, new in Nairobi. Uh, university was not an option, so I had to get a job. Yep. Yeah. You wanted to be a footballer and a pilot. Imagine. Yes. Yes. I didn't know that. I knew oh, the pilot thing you told me this morning. I didn't even know yeah. Because yeah. when, when you were passing by, yeah. Center, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, this is where my but dreams are you now. You're not playing football, but you're playing women. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a plane, but you fly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Do you know one of my favorite things is getting bantered by Moas? Like, me, I, mean, I love when you. So if you can banter me, I love banter. So yeah, especially when it's directed towards me. So. I'm actually. If you have a nice joke for me, I'd appreciate. Huh? I'm his personal copywriter for his Instagram captions. <laughs> actually, yeah. So if you see any bomb and my captions, photographer. that's me. If you, see, if you see, if you just see gang gang, <laughs> I didn't pick up the call. <laughs> <laughs> if there's no caption, I'm if, there's no caption if it's flowers and emojis, <laughs> that's like our boss is busy. Oh. Writing. Oh, oh, and he sends me money. So, when did I, do did I answer the question? Ken. It was asked by Ken. Ken. Oh, shout out, bro. Ken, are, so you, Ken. are you considering to drop out by any chance? Was so that I supposed to be a guiding answer? So, my guiding answer would be so, shout out to Ken. Ken recently joined the company I work for. Ah, shout out to you, and, and he loves the podcast so much. Uh, and you're in Jaquat, right? Bro, I'd say, um, genuinely, um, would I, if I went back to, in time, would I change anything? I wouldn't. Uh, so, whatever you're studying, I think there's many optics to it. Do you love what you're studying? Yes or no? Uh, then, what are the forces behind it? Are you doing it for your parents? Are you doing it for a career? There's no, like, there's, no, there's, there's no proper answer. Just weigh the options you have and make a smart decision. Also, consult friends, consult professionals, always, yeah. But uh, uh, would I wish to have finished my degree for sure? But would I commit the time? No. 
So doesn't make sense. Yeah. Sakaja <laughs> wewe. Lakini mjue team university. We are on. But either way, those who graduated and those who don't we still ended Chukwapa. up on a podcast. Yeah. Doing episode 30 live with you guys. You don't talk graduate. You just stand there like you guys. We are here. Look at us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've run out of questions. Yeah, my questions are done. Oh shit. Um I think I have um uh, I have one more. This is Winnie. Ten Haga. Hi. Hi, Vinny. Is she here? I think she is. A comment than a question. This is one of the most entertaining podcasts ever, and every minute of listening to it is a moment of bliss and happiness. Here's to more content. Congratulations on a first live experience to many more. This thank is a beautiful you. message. Thank you. Thank you, Vinny. And thank you for supporting. Thank you, Vinny. Yeah. Mbona unajiita nga Ten Haga? Yeah. Cuz that booty is a tan. For real. I'm guessing so. <laughs> Can we see? <laughs> you man, is it not? This is Swali. Bro, it's this Swali. This Swali too. Chuck said you pick a gunshot tattoo. But like gunshot tattoo. I'm done controlling it, bro. <laughs> no for real though. Like anyway, start tangalia. I'm sure to simama at some point. <laughs> Sniper. <laughs> I'm messing. We appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, are there any more questions? Boom, Sawa, if there are no questions, then um so we so we have this new segment on the show. Uh, okay, right before we get to checkpoint, question. Have you Mariam, someone give Mariam a mic. Fuck Marie Kill, but for you guys. <laughs> or for us. Can, uh, can I can I get a shot of tequila? <laughs> It can't even be a three option question. No, no, I'm answering. So fuck Mary Kill like for us. To go, to go so tattoo. On, on fuck, huh? And myself. I'm marrying myself yeah. January 1st. Um <laughs> I'm definitely never fucking once because I'm straight. Um <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mariah. Hi. <laughs> oh, oh boy. So, uh I love you. You know I love you, right? All day. Always. Yeah, so Mariah and Magan shots. This light went off. Uh Tough. this light went off. I'm serious. Alex, ni sadie, ni sadie shots za tequila mbili jumechelewa hapa. On your bill, gold. For real. Mbili gold hapa jumechalea na ukuje uzilete peke yako I'm just I'm just saying Chucks is five shots in already Imagine It's tequila bro Yo it's my birthday and Makes this sense. is Okay do you know for the last six years this is the first time I've been around for my birthday mu hapa mm. And it's worth it because of you guys so I'm yeah. going to take tequila shots with you yeah Yeah And genuinely I can't wait to talk hapa come and just uh, <laughs> mingle and talk yeah. 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 yeah So yeah. Alex Una kachini uja nileta tequila shots mbili. Gold from the bar, the bar, bar ndo ile. Um sawa, Mariam, tuko sawa. No, they've not answered. Yeah, yeah. Oh, me my my answer is simple. I'll Mas. kill myself so I don't have to do the two. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh my god. I'll be like peace guys. Close your eyes, I'm shooting one of you. Then all of you are like. Lafu mnafungua macho mnapata mkoa wili. Yeah. Yeah. I, would, I think I'd want to fuck myself. I'd want to I'd want to explain. Bro, you do that all the time. Like <laughs> Let me tell you. Mara, what do you think you're going to do with Mara fucking is yourself? Celibate and is on birth control. <laughs> Does it make sense? <laughs> like Mara says she's on like two, two oh, different birth control. Two different I'm like control. what the fuck are you controlling? Two different ones is the same. And no, then she said when she, if she ever lets a nigga hit, he has to wear a condom. Two step authentication. Yeah. Moi. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? You know I, I was actually going to change it, but now uh-huh. that you've bantered me, I'm definitely killing you. Uh. I'm mad in charge. Uh, of course. I, I think I that think being married to Mara is just <laughs> much. Uh, uh, yeah. I'd rather uh, join Queen Lizzie over there. Eh, apo, first a therapist me should draw. Imagine if you marry Mara and you still get her pregnant. Oh my god. Na 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 na. Mara is fine. Spend on it. Yeah. I'll talk to pass. I'll pass the zone you in advance. This is well. Yeah. Um any other one? Any other question? We good? Okay. Oh, sorry. Someone pass the mic. I think maybe I think maybe it's a follow up to his question. Yes. 
um, where he asked, um, where, he, where he was doing something that he doesn't like. And I was just wondering, um, because if you do something for like 10,000 hours, you become a master at it. Mm. So if you do something that you don't like for 10,000 hours, do you become a master at it or do you? I think you can because mastery is about skill and know-how, right? But it, doesn't, it has nothing to do with uh, what you like and what you don't like. But what I'd say is it's, it's possible to end up doing something you don't like because this is real life. We have bills and things to pay. So I could, take, I could take on a job I don't really like, but because I want to get the money at the end of it, right? at the end of the day, right? But I'd say always find something that you do and find time to do it because that just helps to recenter yourself. Your life can't be doing something you don't like every day and that becomes your life. You become a sad person. So find something that you like doing and always create time to do it. But then, like, don't lose on an opportunity if you need, if you need it. Even if it's just for financials. Because, you bro, you can't change the world if you're hungry. Yeah. It's terrible being hungry, it's terrible not having shelter. So, yeah, make it work. Sure. I'd say the same. I'd say, like, even passion and Usi, happiness usini, usini like supersede anything. Don't say the same. Wait, it's what you're going to say. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love you, bro. I'm going to do a random, I'm going to find a random course and do it. No matter a random one. Catering. You know, like what Jalango did? I see. Like, did community service. A degree for community service. <laughs> <laughs> like a whole four years, bro. No, I think he has a degree in journalism, isn't it? No, community service. Like... Are you ever going to run for office? Like, like, uh, four years, you know, anyway. Mm. Yeah, but me was just saying, whatever makes you happy, because I've been stuck in a wrong job that I was really good at, but every day, Unamka took a like, ah, shit. I have to do this shit again. Mm. So even if you end up being like the best at whatever you're doing, just because you kept practicing and doing, at the end of the day you get home, you're killing yourself. So it's just the prioritizing, am I happy? Do I need the money? Just finding the right balance and then working towards it. But ultimately, may I'll tell you, if you follow your heart, you'll always end up in the right place. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you multiplied. Thank you, bro. Huh. <laughs> of course. Sasa, unanipatia tena na conditions. Oh, God. Thank Jesus. you. Isn't Indogo just four shots of tequila? Jackson, you know, you have a leather juchini. You know, I'm not going to die. I'm not You know, the thing is, we went through a whole process. I was there thinking, okay, what am I going to wear? Okay, for me, honestly, it's a kwangi shida sana. So, but I needed to pick something. I was spoiled for choice. Nikasema, Leo, I'm going to make it special. Leather juchini. Jua di chini. Yeah, juchini. Yeah. Goda. So. Wait, wait. So, our questions or we proceed? So, let us know if there's a question in the audience, right? Okay. So, we have this new segment uh, from, I think, the last five episodes called yeah. Checkpoint. So, Checkpoint is every episode we just uh, pick um, a general topic about anything that is relatable to everyone, mm. and then we discuss it. So, on Checkpoint, because it's always you getting our opinions and the opinions of the crew, we want to get your opinions. So, who has the mic? Can we do it, can we do it randomly? Like, I give you the mic and then oh. sour. <laughs> ah, comfort, comfort, comfort. Chica, comfort. Kwanza. Kwanza, this, this could help your situation with Moas. So, <laughs> uh -oh. so, on checkpoint, um, so it's two things, but we want to match them, right? One, it's uh, what Mara calls blended families. Miss Kumaliza Shule, usinulizio kizungu ni hard, but I'll expound because I had time to Google, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other one was this question for the gents. And I'm going to ask it the way Chuck said, ask it, right? New dinner na koma Oh, God. <laughs> Madam, ma no, for the dudes. Okay, I'm just, I'm just asking it the way I'm asking it, but... Yeah, like, ma uh, for dudes. Because I'll tell you what I, I think. Don't, I don't think some guys had the question. So the, for the dudes. New dinner na koma dem when you... Like, women's houses. Let me house. give you the context. Yeah. We saw this street where if you're going to smash at a babe's house, una beba kifuliako. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, there's a, okay, home and away matches, uh, I don't know for everyone, but yeah. mostly Zangus na kwanga home, but if you do away matches, do you always feel safe in a babe's house? Ah, yeah, to put on the mic. Nah, that's just who wants, who wants to take a shot of tequila with me for my birthday? Me. <sighs> tafari, Cheers. Tafari. That's not tequila, bro. That's not tequila. Okay, Tafari, come. Come, come. Cheers. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Happy birthday. <laughs> Can I 
Sorry, sorry, I'm asking for a lot of things. It's just because it's my birthday. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the service. No, I, I honestly want to hear what the dudes have to say. So, um, please, who has the mic? It's gonna come back to you. Don't worry, bro. I, please right? say, say, say your name yes. and then let's hear what you think. Also, also, this dude has a nice, has a, the dude with a with beard as well. Just, just your name and. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it it happens. I for any dude who says they can't smash their babe at her place. <laughs> but walk, I mean, there are those random times you'll be at your babe's house. Nah, things happen. At it wasn't pre-planned or predetermined. I mean, once in a while, lazima tutafanyika. No, Though, so we're talking about planned. Like, who, planned. Yeah, like you pack an overnight bag and you go to a shorty's house. Personally, <laughs> I wouldn't plan to do it in a house. <laughs> really? Yes. But you know, this is a baby you're saying though. No. What if her house is nicer? Context <laughs> <with blood>. so, <laughs> so, 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 I'm smashing the house. Wait, so, so you're going to have sex with her in the car or in a random lift somewhere but not in her house. That's why you draw the line. The context here is planned. <laughs> planned. 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 I know, planned. So yeah. randomly, yes. Yeah. It happened, it can happen. But you let me plan eh, man, say, leo, yeah. venye, eh. yeah. So what changes like you you won't get hard Damale? I don't know. Like <laughs> help me understand. Yeah. You don't like, what changes understand. in the in, in a bit You can plead the fifth about getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> uh, any any other different opinion? Or anyone anyone wants to say anything? <laughs> or even the babes, let's hear, yeah. Pass it the babes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, comfort me, but you make Yeah, but yeah, Adele. Okay, Adele, Adele, Adele is married. For me, Adele, Adele is married. Actually, yes. But yeah, Mariam. But yeah, Mariam. But yeah, Mariam and Nyakwea. Yeah. Give Give Fifi the mic. Fifi. Pass the mic. Where, where the hell is Edna? Is Edna here? Oh, she's working. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Fifi, Fifi. Anna, Anna. Yo, kuja donis. She lives oh. in Donis. Oh, okay. So, Fifi, let's go. First okay, Fifi, do you get you do you get laid in your house in Donham? In my mother's house. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fifi, in the situation where you have your own house, would you allow your man like to carry an overnight bag and yeah, you know? Yeah, as in you may. You want babies to feel comfortable in your house, don't you? Yes. Why can't it be reciprocated? Okay. Exactly. Yo, wana ume bana muacha mchezo. Kwani? Okay, let me ask. That's that's your man. What about a sneaky link? We don't Same. Do that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are you answered? No, me, me my my query was yeah. babes' houses usually have a lot of rules. Yeah. Like, kuna, kuna slippers, the bafu, the chores, the kitchen, the balcony. <laughs> Upstairs. And here's the thing. When you mess up and use the wrong slippers, you might end up not getting any. <laughs> but I'll tell you this for a fact. In a dude's house, you can go shower with his leather boots. <laughs> and you're still getting this pipe. <laughs> like, no one is ever so mad at you. Oh, my God, That's you guys. Yeah. I can't believe you use the blue slippers in the balcony. You're sleeping in the guest bedroom tonight. <laughs> nah. Yeah. See, the same Apana. Apana. Which dudes do you know? We can't, we can't uh, even be friends. I feel like my friends are clean people. <laughs> 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 uh, you? I'm sorry. It's not happening. Why do you want to smash at my house? So it's two bad controls, a condom, I... and a padlock. No. <laughs> No. But you see, anyway, Mariah is fine because she doesn't have sex anyway, <laughs> so, like, it doesn't apply, like... <sighs> but, yo, so... So, no, you, so you wanna get laid in the dude's house? Because I feel like that's just how it's supposed to be. Who said? I say that. Mariah is so difficult, man. Yeah! Like, like, your home is our sanctuary. My home is my sanctuary. Okay. Yes! You know, I saw this picture on, online. This married couple had uh, their own houses that were completely identical and were yeah. next to each other. I thought that was cool. I feel like that's what would work for me. I feel like that's stupid. That's like having one house with two doors. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to have different houses, move to different neighborhoods. Exactly. Let me have to call an Uber to no, come but, see the, but the thing is, sometimes if you want space for yourself, it's available. There, you, but you, still, you can do that in one house. You can do that in one house. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Mm. 
if when I get married in 2019, I'm going to have two houses next to each other that are identical. 2019? If I get married in 2019. <laughs> so, mkiyo nanga chaksi right? <laughs> I'm a, we'll yeah. write to Bumble to give him like a special feature. Oh, or we buy him a Galaxy Fold. <laughs> so that you can choose where he goes. <laughs> well, is that uh, how it works? Like the screen is split? Uh, no. on the gal I told you he doesn't understand technology. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I will. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so um, we want to close because the main idea of the live recording was to hang out, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, do the episode. So this is the episode that's going to go on YouTube on Wednesday. And thank you for participation. So I'm gonna, be, just before we finish mm -hmm. and make some announcements, anything that anyone has to say, comment, question, whatever. Tafari accepts you. You, you can text me. <laughs> <laughs> you can text me or call me. Anything? Well thank, thank you. you. Girl. Thank you. So can, can, we, can, we, can we commit to something? I don't no. like so, where this is going. Uh -huh. No, 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 Mwangi, this has nothing... Me, I'm just surprised that Chaxi can commit. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Tell me. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Bro, I've committed to 30 episodes. Yeah. Dude, your answer was right there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, can we commit to something, right? Because mm -hmm. we're trying to build something here. I mean, we, we will keep giving you information as it comes, but we're trying to build something here. Can you guys help us push it out? Think about this, for the next, like, just two months, imagine every Wednesday, mm -hmm. if you just posted the show when it comes out, do you know how many more eyeballs we can reach? Yep. Yeah. And also, that could allow us to do more things, do good, better match, more live recordings, and, you know, just check it. Because, honestly, we want to make this the biggest podcast in the world. Yep. Like, literally, not even talking about Kenya. And that's why when we're having the conversation about, we, had, we use more English than sharing Oswahili. It's not because... We don't want to localize the podcast. But we want people in Zimbabwe to listen to the show, you know. Yeah. The same way we want people in Australia and everywhere to listen to the show. So, can you guys help us push the show? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Listen, man, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. We love up, you. Hold up, we hold love up, you so hold much. Up, and this is 30 up, episodes and more. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. Before we wrap it up completely, like I said, today's Chuck's is birthday. Can we all yeah. just sing him yes. happy birthday? Hey! Are you going to finish, I, gonna finish I, that tequila? Finish it, As finish you hold it. them now, after we after we're dancing is when you you chug it. Yeah. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lord Chucksy. Happy birthday to you. And that's the first of many live episodes. Yes, for yes. Mike Chef. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you guys you. are amazing. We loved we love having you, man. you over. Listen, we just want to come yeah. hang out with you guys. Yeah, let's like, literally. Day. This is the Bag of This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Bag of Now, when you watch it, you'll understand.